Before you begin the installation of a Coke dishwasher, view this entire video to familiarize yourself with the process. Use a qualified installer for installation of a Cove dishwasher. To safely and efficiently install Cove dishwashers, watch for the following types of highlighted information. Caution signals the need to follow instructions to avoid minor injury or product damage. Warning indicates the need to follow instructions to avoid a hazard that may cause serious injury or death. Measure and verify that the opening dimensions are consistent with the installation guide shipped with the product. Remember, before moving the dishwasher, protect the finished flooring. Note, finish 3.5 inch returns as they are visible and should match the cabinetry. Installation must comply with all applicable electrical codes. The longest dimension of any opening into the adjacent cabinet must not be more than one and a half inches. Locate the electrical supply in an adjacent cabinet within reach of the power cord. The appliance requires a separate circuit serving only this appliance. The installation may require a ground fault circuit interrupter, GFCI, outlet or a breaker, whichever complies with local codes. Improper connection of the equipment grounding conductor can result in a risk of electric shock. Check with a qualified electrician or service representative if you are in doubt whether the appliance is properly grounded. Do not modify the plug provided with the appliance. If it will not fit the outlet, have a proper outlet installed by a qualified electrician. Important. This appliance must be connected to a hot water supply. Do not expose water lines to freezing temperatures. Installation must comply with all applicable plumbing codes. The longest dimension of any opening into the adjacent cabinet must not be more than one and a half inches. The edges of the opening must be smooth and round. A drain line high loop is factory installed on the unit. Do not remove the high loop clamp. If necessary, the drain tubing can be extended by a maximum of five feet. Locate the water supply and drain in an adjacent cabinet. Connect the water supply line to the hot water supply with an easily accessible shutoff valve between the supply and the unit. Stainless steel accessory door panels are available through an authorized Cove dealer. For local dealer information, visit the Find a Showroom section of our website at coveappliance.com. The thickness of the custom panel can vary. The product requires a minimum 1 half inch thick panel, but the thickness can increase, provided the panel does not exceed 20 pounds. The custom door panel template provided accommodates 23 and 3 8 inch and 23 and 3 quarters inch wide panels. Adjust the template accordingly for all other panel widths. Finish all sides of the custom panel. They may be visible when the door is open. Stainless steel accessory door panels are available through an authorized Cove dealer. For local dealer information, visit the Find a Showroom section of our website at coveappliance.com. The thickness of the custom panel can vary. The product requires a minimum 1 half inch thick panel, but the thickness can increase, provided the panel does not exceed 20 pounds. The custom door panel template provided accommodates 23 and 3 8 inch and 23 and 3 quarters inch wide panels. Adjust the template accordingly for all other panel widths. Finish all sides of the custom panel. They may be visible when the door is open. Use caution when drilling bracket holes to prevent damage. Number one, remove the template from the dishwasher door. Number two, place the custom panel face down on a protected work surface. 
Number three, position the template flush with the top and sides of the panel, then mark and drill holes. Number four, remove the custom panel mounting brackets from the dishwasher by pushing in and up on each bracket. Number five, use the screws provided to secure brackets to the panel. Number six, align the mounting pins on the door panel with the dishwasher door slots, then push in and shift the panel down to secure. Number seven, verify the panel is secure against the dishwasher door, then insert a screw into each hinge to secure the bottom of the panel. Number eight, finger tighten the adjustment bracket nuts. Number nine, place the kick plate magnetic strike plates on the magnets and remove the adhesive backing. Number 10, Push the kick plate panel onto the exposed adhesive. Number 11. Make in and out adjustments. Number 12. Remove the kick plate, then wrench tighten the bracket nuts. Number 13. Reinstall the kick plate. Number 1. Ensure the unit is in front of the opening. Number two, for openings less than 24 inches wide, remove the side spacers by pushing upward. Number three, measure the height of the opening, then adjust the leveling legs until the unit height is slightly smaller than the opening height. Number four, to adjust the front, Turn the leveling legs clockwise to raise and counterclockwise to lower the unit. To adjust the rear, turn the rear adjustment screw counterclockwise to raise and clockwise to lower the unit. The unit design prevents the rear leveling leg from stripping if turned the wrong way. If the rear leveling leg does not raise or lower, Tilt the dishwasher forward slightly to remove pressure from the leg. This engages the threads and allows for adjustment. Number five, route the power cord through an access hole in the adjacent cabinet. Number six, route the water supply and drain tube through an access hole in the adjacent cabinet. Number seven, remove the racks before anchoring the unit. To remove the upper and middle racks, number one, pull the rack out to full extension. Number two, pull out on the tab on the side of the rack clips and remove the clips from the end of each rack glide. Number three, pull the rack forward to remove. To remove the lower rack, number one, pull the rack out to full extension. Number two, lift up and out. Number one, insert the unit into the opening and pull the excess electrical and plumbing supplies through the access hole before completing the installation. Number two, verify that plumbing and electrical supplies are not kinked or coiled. Number one, connect the drain line by following the local code. The drain connection will accommodate one inch, three quarters inch, and five eighths inch drain connections. Cut the connection to fit three quarter inch and five eighth inch connections. If connecting to a food waste disposal, Remove the knockout before making the drain connection. Secure the drain tube between 20 inches and 43 inches above the bottom of the dishwasher. Number two, connect the water connection to the water supply with the fitting provided. 
Make sure to remove the knockout from the waste disposal before making the drain connection. Failure to do so will cause drain issues. Number one, route the product end of the power cord through the one and a half inch cabinet access hole. When routing the power cord through metal, protect the edges of the access hole to prevent abrasion. Number two, plug the cord into the back of the unit and then into the outlet. To adjust the front, turn the leveling legs clockwise to raise and counterclockwise to lower the unit. To adjust the rear, turn the rear adjustment screw counterclockwise to raise and clockwise to lower the unit. Secure the unit to adjacent cabinetry using the screws provided. Do not over tighten. Over tightening could distort the unit, causing issues with the door seal. If applicable, secure the top of the unit to the countertop using the screws provided. Verify proper door closure, then install the hole plugs in each mounting hole location. Door tension adjustment accommodates multiple panel weights. Panel weight cannot exceed 20 pounds. Turn the adjustment nut clockwise to increase tension and counterclockwise to decrease tension. The kick plate must be removable for service. The floor cannot interfere with removal. To remove the kick plate, number one, finger tighten the adjustment bracket nuts. Number two, place the kick plate on the magnets. Number three, make in and out adjustments. Number four, remove the kick plate, then wrench tighten the bracket nuts. Reinstall the kick plate. A decorative kick plate may be adhered to the existing kick plate. The height and thickness can vary, but the addition must not impede the door panel rotation. Notch the upper right corner of any kick plate exceeding 3 and 3 8 inch in height to allow for airflow. Turn on the water and electrical supplies. Install all interior racks. Run a quick cycle and check all electrical, water supply, and drain connections. For water softener models, Refer to the water softener section of the installation guide to adjust the water hardness, then proceed to the next step. For water softener models only, a salt compartment is located at the bottom of the interior. Before filling the salt compartment for the first time, fill the compartment with water. Water does not have to be added with subsequent refills. To add softener salt, number one, pull the lower rack forward and if necessary, turn the lower spray arm away from the compartment cover. Number two, turn the cover counterclockwise to remove. It's normal for the reservoir to contain water. Number three, fill the compartment completely with dishwasher softener salt. Number four, once full, clean any excess salt from the threads of the salt compartment, then turn the cover clockwise to secure. Follow all city and state laws when storing, recycling, or discarding dishwashers. Thank you for watching the Cove dishwasher installation video. Please continue to familiarize yourself with proper installation techniques. As a Cove partner, your attention to detail is critical to providing an exceptional customer experience. If you have any questions or would like to provide feedback, please contact Cove Customer Support at 1-800-222-7820 or email us at customerservice at subzero.com.